I think it's come at the right time, this sort of initiative, um, which has been set up largely by the Australian Federation of uh, Ukrainian Organisations. Um, the embassy has just started. Ukraine is making um, progress with its economic reform program. Uh, I know there are some that are saying it's going to take some time to spread onto the, the ground, the, gr the grassroots, if you like, but nonetheless it's underway and Australia is obviously a strong supporter of that through our bilateral loan within, of $100 million within the IMF loan program to Ukraine. Um, in terms of direct investment and trade with Australia, it's a modest trade and investment relationship at the moment, but I can say that in the last two months or so, there's been a few developments regarding Australian companies coming to Ukraine. Um, contracts haven't been signed yet, but I'm told we're starting to get to that point, and it's not um, insignificant amounts. So. I'm hopeful that given things like Ukraine's energy needs, for example, and Australia is a big player in that, that sort of area, and things like agriculture, that there are opportunities that with the right sort of initiatives we can bring both sides together. Do you believe that a war in Donbass will be no like an obstacle for investments from Australia to Ukraine? It can be, um, and I guess it's one of those situations where obviously if the situation in the East gets worse and worse and worse from what we've got now, let's face it, that's going to be a disincentive for foreign companies to come here for a whole range of reasons. But at the moment, you know, I, as I was just saying, there are reasons for Australian companies to come here. Ukraine is a resource-rich country. The government is making effort within its reform program. And this is a country which, who knows, maybe five years from now, uh, it could be a very pro-Europe, market-friendly uh, country with a lot of resources and a lot of um, skilled but cheap labour that's appealing to uh, foreign uh, companies, including Australian ones.